before we start the video, um, just a disclaimer, this video is not suitable for children. Or if you're an adult of a sensitive nature, there will be some graphic imagery in this. So if that's you, don't be moaning afterwards, yeah? <laughs> Regular school and college going kids from the age of 9 to 30 gather in Arya's courtyard every evening for a two hour training. <laughs> Chetna's guru is Swami Narsimhanan Saraswati. He is the leader of several radicalized self appointed Hindu vigilante groups in the region. So some people told me to react on this whole beef fiasco in India. I didn't really think much of it, you know. Here in the UK, we've got McDonald's on every street. So, I mean, <laughs> what's it got to do with us? But when I started probing, more and more news stories started emerging, more and more disturbing clips started emerging. I had to press stop. Yeah, I just could not do it. You know, I started making me feel dizzy. But anyway, enough jibber jabber from me. <sighs> Let's have a look. Before the Haryana police began collecting biryani samples in the Mewat area of Haryana to see if they contained beef, two women in the same area were gang raped and there are now allegations that the people who attacked them and murdered two family members are Gau Rakshaks, Gau Vigilantes. The Haryana government has handed over the case to the CBI. <laughs> A chilling revelation by this 20 year old claiming that her rapist may have been cow vigilantes. Now I've had to stop this clip here because I know certain minors will still be watching it. Yeah? So I'll put the links in the description, watch the entire thing. It goes in depth. All because she ate some cow. <laughs> This video goes on. I have to stop it here. I can't watch anymore. Yeah, I've seen it once already. It literally made me sick to my stomach. Now they are beating someone on the side of the road because this guy is transporting cows. All right, guys. Now some of you might be thinking this is just happening by the Gao Rakshaks from Rajasthan. Let's see what the comments are saying. Scroll down. Awesome work, guys. Proud of you. Okay. 17 likes. Nice work, guys. 8 likes. Okay, you've got one person refuting it. And then you've got one guy. Uh, yes. Okay, gonna move on. Uh, okay. Funniest thing is that India is the largest exporter for beef and Prime Minister Modi is making big money by exporting your tasty god to us here in the West. Well, although that's not really worded tastefully, but it is, it is true though. <laughs> Apparently he's one of the leaders of the BJP party and he's talking like that. Now here's a report by the Mirror, apparently they covered it. Muslim men caught transporting beef, forced to eat cow dung and urine mix and then they got arrested. Hey, 
Now, some people have actually been killed because they've eaten the sacred cow. Late at night, on September 28th, a mob stormed into a Muslim family's home, dragged the father and son out by their hair, and started beating them with sticks and bricks on rumors they had eaten beef. The father died, the son critically injured. Now, 15 suspects have been formally charged. <sighs> Maybe that's a one-off. Nope, here's another one. Srinagar, the capital of Indian administered Kashmir, lies deserted. Separatist leaders here called for a shutdown to mark the death of Zahid Ahmed. He was a truck driver beaten to death by a crowd who thought he was transporting slaughtered cows. Many people believe that cows are a sacred animal that should not be killed or eaten. In this case, police say the cows died from food poisoning. The people doing the killings are a group a vigilante group called Gao Rakshak. The fact that multiple killings have been allowed and the media is not labeling this as Hindu terrorism is a major concern. But considering the leader is some guy called Modi, who according to many is regarded as a extremist, uh, I guess He's the law setter in this supposed secular nation. I'm not going to be of those type that are going to label all of Hinduism like this. The actions of a few do not represent the action of the majority. And I know the majority of Hindus don't agree with this. But the fact of the matter is, this is happening. And my main question is, of all the news clips news reports, websites that I've checked out, there has not been a single mention of the term Hindu terrorist. Was this not a religiously motivated attack? Of course it was. And if you are a just person watching this, this will be sufficient for you to understand that this term terrorist cannot be trusted because it is used unjustly for Muslims. But just because the victims are Muslims and the perpetrators are not, then this word is not being used.